brought to you by GTA. We start with you. Schools on Rhoda are preparing for the new normal. Dr. Rita Hokugino's junior and senior high school principal, Denise Tanya King. We are going to have two different cohorts. One cohort will be on Monday and Wednesday where they will do face-to-face -face and the other students will log in simultaneously. And then the second cohort will meet face-to-face uh, -face on Tuesday and Thursday and will log in simultaneously. They'll also conduct deep cleaning in their facilities to protect their 210 students who were sent home in March. But a big challenge is access to technology. King says CARES funding might be able to help. I'm hopeful that there will also be uh, wi fi for those families that are in need because to me those are extricably intertwined that you need to have access. That access comes at a time when 23 out of their 31 faculty and staff were furloughed in April. Education Commissioner Dr. Alfred Ada recently announced plans to unfurlough teachers in August to begin training for remote learning. School reopening comes with strict guidelines. We need to err on the side of caution because the borders are open between Saipan and Rhoda, as well as Guam and Saipan, and we have seen several cases that have come from Guam, so I don't believe that we are totally immune. She says until there is a vaccine, they'll continue to hold the line. With the school year just around the corner, the island of Rhoda is one of the only places in the world that can call itself COVID-19 free. Tomas Manglotnya for KUAM News on Rhoda. Brought to you by GTA. We start with you.